Now then, so I'm almost packed up. One of the things I haven't done, although I've done a track inspection of stages one to four, I've not done five and six. So I thought I'd take you along for the ride. So only the poles to go in. All that lot will go inside the truck. Everything else, everything else is gone. You can see where the uh, uh, mats were down. If it had got muddy, although we had baking sunshine, that was a waste of 1500 quid, wasn't it? Anyway, me and Freya will take you on a track inspection of five and six. Hi, I'm Kev, trying to live off grid in my 1995 Mercedes motorhome. Six solar panels, over two kilowatts, charging this awesome self built 12 kilowatt hour lithium pipe. I'm building mountain bike trails, I'm running mountain bike events, Freya's along for the ride, I'm solar powering my life while I'm off grid and working hard. So behind me, that's the main steep bit. We'll go there afterwards. Let's have a look at this uh, finishing bit. So I'm looking at this bit. This has got a lot rootier. So for next year, that'll need sorting. At least this berm's held up well. Nothing too un unexpected here. Sort of how it is. You can sort of see, let me see, sort of typical. Roots just seem to, well, <laughs> everything gets more packed down so the roots stick up. Oh, that's packed a lot, look at that. That's what I get my pocket silky out for. So yeah, a bit more work on this next year. We'll be all good. Just spotted this little route here on the trail has migrated that way it's right in so we use this again cut that route back a bit more and here in this stream crossing everyone going through has uh, migrated the loose stuff that way and then there's one big one oh, well stuck in Definitely some erosion here. Roots holding the track in. And then uh, here, I did spot that, uh, on, I watched some videos of people and they did uh, get that high line rather than the more obvious low line. And this bit stood up okay. But this, I expected this to get a bit battered, and it has, especially this final section into here. A lot of breaking being done there. And these last few routes here have really held the hillside together. Kieran will be happy. Last year, he built this bit of a high line here into the corner, and no one really used it. But this year, they have and onto it a bit further down but it was this bit that he benched out so you could get get high and round and yeah it's had a little bit of use and all of this section we spent so long on has all stood up really well and again watch some uh, racer youtubes all look to flow really well Whoop. The stage manager said that the uh, line was slowly migrating up the hill and you can see people coming in right up here. Sorry for panting, it's a steep hill. Let's carry on. Uh, 
that's looking all good. This bit's looking all right. Into here. That's all stood up fairly well. Just down there, there was a bit, it got a bit rooty. But this is all looking not so bad. One of the things I also look out for on my track inspection, little bits of tape. This is actually the biodegradable tape, but still, I'll litter pick it. This has been hollowed out a bit, but it's still looking not so bad. Not so bad. Chief Moore, she was worried about these loose rocks here. But uh, they've now just gone into a nice little ramp. Well, that's not so bad, that. People did spot this line here for a straighter line into it. Look, Mum, I'm on top of the world! This was the most Instagrammed view from the event. From up here, riders appreciating it. Obviously, I just spent three months living round the corner. So, it's still, still an impressive view, even for me. Anyway, I've come to the top before doing any more filming on the way down. Give you a look, but it's all looking good, especially for how much work we put in. It all seems to be holding up well. What you do notice all the way down this stage, one for the geologist really, is how um, these layers of rock that once would have been flat have now basically turned through 90 degrees to form this ridge line however many thousand million a years ago and uh, yeah all the way down you're sort of cutting across but they're going the same way as you so you get the little channels to catch your wheels and that's that's all the way down there's some drops further down and uh, it's uh, it's noticeable on them as well this bit that did have full soil topping but then we had all the drought and up here it's very windy and it blew away all the top but it's it's bedded in not so bad could still do with a bit more clay stuff on the top to bind it all together but um, basically it's worked very very well it's all held up here more of the rock on its side layers I was on about at least these uh, layers give a little bit of uh, something for you to have your tires bite into and now I'm at the top of stage six I thought I'd uh, start at the top and maybe I'll be uh, less breathless on the video. I was surprised not to see more pictures from here but uh, there that's where we rooted riders up and if they'd have come and stood up here which they would have seen when they started and you get a really good view of Windermere but yeah they just came up that track here and uh, didn't come up to the top of this rock this year. Uh, usually we have another stage which we weren't using this year here. So normally as they queue around here they'll, they'll come up. So that was the uh, start this year. I've been on the top before but this corner got a bit weird. But uh, it's all looking good, even this first little rut isn't too bad. That was one from a previous year, <laughs> you can see how bad that got onto this slab. So this was a new bit and you never quite know how things are going to evolve. But that way had got uh, too rough. Did watch some rider videos and where we thought the fast line 
would be this inside here. Actually, some of the fast guys just railed this outside line and carried so much speed. So this bit, sort of as expected, a little bit of uh, hollowing out here. And so that's a bit re we repaired quite heavily from last year. Most of the repairs have, um, have held on and quite a few people took this high slab line and then they could get straight across and, and down the pro line. But here where people have been breaking a lot of the repairs that we did there have, uh, have come out. But actually from here, our uh, rocks and repairs in this, because uh, it had really veed out before, they've, they've stayed pretty well. So the berm up there, which is sort of the first berm after that tech section, that, that held up okay. Bit more uh, roots popping out here. And then this berm that we'd uh, heavily reworked and beefed up and whatever. Little bit of uh, collapsing at the end here. But, uh, you know, for 1400 passes over the weekend, not too bad. So again, here was a new bit, uh, just after the last of those berms. This was the old line, you can see fairly full of holes with roots. So we took it this side of the trees, also gave you a better line and speed into the stream and uh, and the slightly uphill uh, and then traverse. But um, fairly hollowed out there. I'll take you from the bottom. I think you can see it like uh, <laughs> that sort of deep up to my wrist but still I can tell people were carrying more speed because they're going higher up that bank there with the tracks this bit here despite it's being Vinnie stage I actually repaired this bit and it was the roots were big holes between them basically because here there's a stream comes down and as well as us wearing through it the stream then washed out and actually it's now set fairly fairly bedded in hopefully the stream will keep going this way and not over there and down the track now but uh, that bit's uh, held up good and now it's the run into the KS drop which on the way up I saw took a fair beating but this uh, little armoured bit on the way in, not so bad, all these roots after it have come out a little bit. We had three lines and uh, not many people went the easiest way. A lot of people did go the old uh, easy way. And that rock there is, uh, is sticking out even more now. I need smashing off for next year. And then uh, there's a rock down there. I'll go down there and show you. So this rock here, with some marks on it where people have landed. I swear that before the event, that was about. Uh, it, it's, prob it's probably it's probably sticking out three times more, and it was about the same as on the other side. And that's really managed to to come down. So we'll have to. Get the sledgehammer on that, smash it up. Same for that one. You can see, oh, a bit too much zoom for moving. You can see it fairly sticks out now. So I'll work to do before next year. And nothing to do with the track, but I really like this yew tree. It's just so gnarly I just like going past it look at it it's little uh, gnarly growths in trees brilliant
So after that lovely you, uh, this bit here where people were breaking into this corner and trying to get high up as possible, taking a fair amount of erosion. That route's now sticking out. That's where the track used to finish. Uh, but yeah, breaking into here. Uh, that's taken some, taken some abuse. And this bit here, which is effectively the first of uh, of three little jumps, if you're taking the uh, the pro line, uh, but that's hollowed out even more. But we are getting uh, down to bedrock here. Uh, can't take that root out. It's a live tree. We don't take roots out of live trees. We leave them leave them in. Probably can't pack that, so that'll just be more interesting. And then here, tried to stop people rolling this with a bit of a log. But I can see from the tracks that people have still just been rolling over here to roll this line rather than take the designated rollable line. So I might have to build that up a bit more next year and uh, make it a definite, a definite jump. All this has held up really well. We had a lot of people rolling off last year, which broke the end up a little bit. I think even though I said we've had people rolling over there, I think less people have. So it's it's held together better. And this berm's well packed in on the easy line. You having a good scratch, Freya? You having a good scratch? couple more roots popping out a bit more but this bit here this is bedded in lovely people were getting some proper speed down here although I noticed on my way up over there a lot more roots popping out and actually Vinny the trail builder he got caught out by them roots on his uh, on his run and hit that uh, that tree so yeah, I don't know which route he hit, but um, these have all popped out a little more. But this this is the tree I think he hit from uh, from the descriptions. So I'm sure this will be all packed a lot more for next year. You won't want to hit the same tree two years on the trot. And this traverse has... Uh, held up really well through this ash regen we've done a, a fair bit of work on it uh, before including this this corner was uh, a lot more built up than it had been in previous years and that's uh, that's helped a lot I think if you watch the uh, video edit by hidden media of the events and right at the end there's a lovely drone shot of this bit uh, and actually you don't realize how because it's quite sort of tucked in you can't really see it tucked in in the ash region but actually from the drone shot you uh, you can see it very clearly being a ribbon so that's where i've parked so i've not been and looked at this bottom bit so it'll be a journey for both of us together this berm stood up well, but then again, I was about 15 man days of digging into the hillside here and building it up on the outside to create these turns. You can sort of see how much uh, earth we had to move. But yeah, fi 15 man days on, on the, this bottom couple of corners, but uh, uh, really good and went down really well. And there's an excellent picture I've seen of the overall winner, Greg Callan, coming around this corner, and he's he's almost um, <laughs> he's all, almost flat. He's he's banked over that much into this uh, little uh, little drop here. So uh, obviously held him well. So I'd never done a road crossing neutralised for timing before, but it worked quite well. And then people came up here. And then what I cheekily did is I put a finished beacon so that when you got three metres towards it, 
your chip would start beeping. It actually takes the strongest signal. But as soon as it starts beeping, people are like, oh, I need to get going. I didn't want this being a restart, a, you know, a second start and a queue. So I think it worked. I think it worked well. Although here where we built the trail there, people have been jumping that way. I did wonder how this corner would go. It's actually, there's actually an access track here and down there. So we couldn't build a big berm. So it was left as adverse camber. We built it to this side of this rock and here. And people have generally gone wider, but it has slightly bermed up naturally with the, with the use. I thought this might be a slippy corner into this little uh, drop. But uh, seems to have all held up okay. Oh, and that berm's looking good. I say the berm's looking good. Actually there it's collapsed. So there's that big rock behind it. Plenty of rock here. So we'll be able to fill that up, up, up to that rock level for next year. And uh, that'll be a good improvement. Oh, I'm loving this. You can see, we didn't actually put a berm in as such, but it's uh, it's undercut. You can see people going high. This was the berm we did put in. It's been well used. Nice high line. All this loose stuff that was sort of up there, all collected here. But this is all looking good. Probably dig this in a little bit for next year. But this is the bit I was worried about. You can see it's a, across a marsh, but we did dig some trenches, put in a pipe for the water to one, run through. And it's all held up nicely. Not, not muddy at all. That's a good little causeway. Couldn't make it too big, because again, this is actually the access track I was on about further up and here we are at the finish and uh, if you were tired when you got here Ambassador Martha she wanted me to extend the finish up there to make you all sprint up an hill to finish that's because she's sadistic and also quite fit but uh, yeah, be glad, be glad that she didn't manage to convince me to do that. <laughs> and, you, and you got to stop just at that uh, log instead. But anyway, that's my, I say I've done, done similar on um, stages one to four uh, earlier on in the week. And I've been cleaning up uh, the arena and packing the van. But I always try and get round all the stages, have a look, have a look at what lines people took, how much erosion we caused, and uh, just add that into me, into my knowledge bank, so that when we're building again here or for other venues, then I can learn learn the lessons from from this event and how. Uh, how it was used, how it wore in, which bits didn't stand up, which build techniques were good for uh, for the event. And uh, yeah, just generally try and get better. So one, one last thing, this this little bit after the road. Oh, dog's making... Oi, Freya! Ah, just pause, pause the video because dog were making pheasants run. Come here! Luckily, she's uh, not very stealthy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. As you can see, she's happy. Anyway, this bit from the road, which we called Child's Play, was actually built by... Uh, Nige, Sam and Nate Pilling, two young lads. Two, two young lads, only uh, 
9 and 11. Uh, Sam and Nate, hence, hence child's play. So I'm sure they'll be coming back, taking ownership of this little bit and uh, getting it uh, tuned, ready for ready for next year. And this, this event is the late May Day Bank Holiday 2022. Next time we'll be here. And then 2023 and 2024, that same late May Day Bank Holiday, basically three year rolling contract, verbal contract for for here. So we'll always keep keep coming back and keep that same bank holiday weekend so that people from all the way around the country can uh, can do. Today we asked the question, how many poles can you get in a chimney? The answer is not enough. There's the rest of them.